Now he's coming he's, he's, he's laughing his head off, dead out going, daft as a brush. And he would sing, but he was rubbish, do you understand? Because he's coming in with that as well. And he would tell jokes and he was very dry in his attitude as well, wasn't he? He certainly was. And he's coming up around you and he's saying you've been having boyfriend trouble, by the way. Right? Now he's just coming up from the back and he's giving you, putting his, ha his big hand, by the way, on your shoulder. And he's coming in to give you that little bit extra confidence. Because you need that within yourself a little bit. That's what he's on about here. Right. He would have taken his life by hanging. Do you understand that at all, please? I've got to give that off to you. And he's, he knew exactly what he was doing. That's what he's telling us here. Because yeah. he says a lot of people don't. Yeah. But he planned it. He did. Yes, he did plan it. And a lot of people don't. What they do is they just do it. Just like that. And unfortunately, when somebody hangs themselves, it sometimes takes about a half an hour to pass away. Because right. people just think, you, you know, you just, and that's it, it's over, it's not. But he knew exactly what he was doing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So he passed away just like that. Yeah. And he's telling me his neck broke, by the way. So it was a clean break. Okay, that's what he's also telling us here. But he's saying I couldn't go on because he had so many things going on around him and them things had been going on around him for the past five years. That, that's what he's telling us here. And also there would have been a problem with the law as well, by the way. He's talking about that. Okay, but that goes back away as well. And he's also talking about... Oh, Jimmy, do you know somebody called Jimmy? Yeah. He's on about somebody called Jimmy. Right. Divina. Well, I mean, that's just what he's doing. How are you? He's living, by the way, Jimmy. He is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's talking about him now. And he's talking about Gary as well, by the way. You know him. Yeah. Of course you do. It's all set up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you know Paul as well, by the way, living. Do you understand yeah. that? because he's also bringing him in as well. And he's saying, you've got to be watching your back with him, Lot. <laughs> yeah, right. There's a, there's a, always seems to be loads of Stevens, doesn't it? He's bringing in Stephen as well. So I don't know who the hell Stephen is. But anyway, he's bringing him in. Right. Oh, and he's coming in with a lovely bunch of flowers for you. So that'll be nice, won't it? So I'll tell you what you can pass them on. He says, you're right, nosy Parker. You got a big, long nose. Because you like to know, know everything, you know. And, and would it be possible to get a, get a message to his family at all, please? He has a brother, he's telling me here. Will you try and get a, a, a message, please, to the family? He was married, this guy, at all, please, was he? Right, he's talking about brother and lord and will you do that please? And he left a little girl behind as well. He's telling me that. He's also saying here that will you please pass that on? Pass on the love to his little girl. Can you do that please? And, and I'm going to give you the 12th of October is going to mean something to you. Do you understand me at all please? Right, okay. And I'm also going to give you He's saying the 12th of November. You know what I mean? <laughs> He's crazy, him, man. I don't know. Are we doing 12s all the way through the months? <laughs> right then. Um, he says, don't have a fear of flying. You'll be all right. Okay. Right. It's probably not you. It's probably his wife. If he can pass that on to his wife, please. Can you do that? And he knows she was heartbroken as well. He knows all that. And he really does ap apologise, okay? And she did get very suicidal because she wanted to join him. Do you understand me? 